What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I am both a Nerdy Collector and eBay reseller and roll the clip. Mo, do the honours. Okay, do the honours, come on, we're all waiting. Yeah. All this lot cost 200 quid. Now we've got to check some of the apartments again. Where's Wins now? Go on, go on. I'll take more Sonic 2, let me, let me present this. Simpsons Space Mutants. Go, go, go the James, let me present. James, uh, James, that's me. It's not focusing on you for some reason. The it. sun's too bright. There we go. Sigma Mid Drive 2. Why are these tiles I think that's worth it. This one's Beast, the... Beast 2. Oh, Mid Drive 2. Oh. Uh, uh, one I, of the I, other I reckon this one's worth a million. A million. Uh, does this have the cyber phone in it though? Uh, no, 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 Toy no, Story. We've got to take the Annoyingly half it. Oh man, that is like pristine. Yeah, that's clean. Man. I've I, never seen that one that clean. I, I've seen uh, one broken. Uh, Mo, open up the other box. Open up the other box. Come on. Oh, shame I didn't have insert. But... This one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so Jason bought all this for 200 quid. Um, and now me, him and Mo are going to go really? through and we're going to split this three ways um, with Jason getting the overall decision as to what he wants to keep and what he doesn't mind switching on. Well, we'll have to find the prices first because I haven't seen any of them, uh, especially these, so I don't know anything about these ones. So yeah, basically um, Jason bought that lot and He's sold some bits to myself, which I'll go through in a second. But there's also bits that went to other collectors like Mo, who you saw in a clip. Um, thankfully, Mo's dad looked after all the bits for us while we carried on car booting. A uh, story of that Mega Drive bundle is uh, Jason was speaking to uh, the the ladies last year, um, and they just didn't come back. And they actually purposely waited until they saw Jason uh, before they let anyone else look at the stuff. He paid £200 for the lot. Um, we'll go through the bits that I bought in a second, but some more waffling first. Um, I was around 60 seconds behind um, an absolutely fantastic <laughs> gaming bundle. Um, I'm fairly sure there was boxed 64. Was it 64 of those games? You know what? I can't remember now. I think there were 64 games. Um, but there was a boxed uh, Turtles NES. I think there was... Was it a box N64 or was it another NES? I don't know. Either way, the consoles were a fiver, boxed and amazing condition. And all the games were a pound each. So the guy was swamped and people were trying to buy things, although he'd already agreed the price, um, which I didn't agree with. I was just sort of hanging back and just allowing people to just argue, which was quite funny. I uh, asked the guy if he wanted to say anything, um, but I think he was collecting it. And to be fair, for the price that he paid, which I think was only about 30 odd quid, um, fair play to him, man. It was the score, the biggest score I've, I've seen for the best price um, in relation to what it was worth and what he actually paid for it. So I think, I'm afraid sure one of the other guys says the retail price was about four to five hundred pounds. Paid 30 quid, man. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into what I bought, shall we? Well, I say I bought most of this stuff, Jason bought, and I'm buying it off of him. So the games, most of them are five pounds, uh, which I'm paying him back for. He gave me three five pound games to give him a lift back to his house. And the rest of them I'm buying off of him for CEX vouchers. So I've already given him 60 quid's worth of vouchers. I've got a few more to go, and then that's it. We'll be all square. So, games. We have Green Dog, Page Master. Now, Sonic came with Sonic 2 and Sonic 1, both for £5, which I didn't really want, but... Sonic and Knuckles, absolutely amazing box condition. I think this, he wanted 24. The Simpsons, the Bart versus the Space Mutants. The Zombies, again, £20 rather than £5. There's the Sonic game. Clax on the Master System. The Lion King on the Genesis. Aquatic Games on the Mega Drive. Action Fighter on the... God, I've forgotten it. Master System. 
Also, Su Super Monaco, Arton Senna's Land of Illusion on the Master System. Agassi on the Mega Drive. The Jungle Book on Master System. The Lucky Dime Caper, Donald Duck, Master System. Cosmic Spacehead. Flink, Alex Kidd. Toy Story. Zoop. Micro Machines. World of Illusion featuring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Busby, Terminator 2. Lemmings, Toe Jam and Earl. Panic on Funkotron. I'm fairly sure I played this a lot with uh, my god brother. Castle of Illusion, I already have this, but this is in very good condition and for sake of five pound CX voucher, I'm gonna pick it up. Tamas Adventure, Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster's Hidden Treasures. Wiz and Liz, Super Thunderblade, Puggy, Ariel and the Little Mermaid, but she is a Little Mermaid. I read that wrong, oh well. Last Mega Drive game is Krusty's Funhouse. So, as I say, most of them are five pound. The only sort of 20 pound games were these two but everything is going in the collection, which I think is why he was quite happy to, to let me have it at a very, very reasonable price. More bits. A boxed Mega Drive. Um, box is a bit battered, but the polystyrene inside is amazingly good. So first one going in the collection, which means the console collection is like pretty decent right now. I need to um, get them all out and uh, we'll have a, a video out of that at some point. Oh, sorry, £30 Jason sold that to me for. That was cash. Menacer, boxed, £10. Again, cash. These toys, I've got no idea where they're from, but they're so familiar. We have Goatman. My hair's all over the place. Goatman. Troll Dude. Troll Dude's from 1985. The others are from 96. So they look so familiar, but I can't remember where they are from. Doom 2 on the PC, keeping this amazing. Pay two pound. Those toys were five pound, by the way. Then uh, one of my lovely subscribers, Dave, uh, he said he had some bits for me. I actually saw him drive in as well, which is quite handy, uh, but picked up Pokemon Dash. It is missing its manual, but I think I paid eight pound, I think, for these. Uh, Medal of Honor and Medal of Honor Underground Platinum version, uh, double disc sort of thing. Box only of, actually, it's got a manual, but missing the game. Uh, box is a bit damaged, but it's a Pokemon game. No doubt I'll find one at some point. Donkey Konga, um, I actually have a spare set of bongos, so it now means that I can pair this up and it can now go into trades. And a separate purchase, X-Men on the Xbox. Not sure if I've got it or not, so for the sake of a quid, I thought I'd pick it up. So yeah, today was a good day. Um, really, really warm. Wore shorts the whole day. I got to the car boot at, God, just before six. Um, and was already in shorts. It was already 15 degrees. So quite happy I wore shorts because I think by the time I left, it was about a half eight, quarter to nine. Uh, it was already sort of hitting the 20, 22s sort of range. So shorts all day. Um, England actually played Sweden today. We won. What's going on? It might actually be coming home. Uh, so that was good. I actually fell asleep for the first sort of 15 minutes of the game because I was just absolutely shattered because uh, there was a Pokemon uh, Go event as well. So I dread to think how many miles I've walked today. Um, I didn't have my breakfast until 11, which probably wasn't a good idea, uh, but I had enough water to sort of keep me going. But today was a good day, uh, mainly thanks to Jason. Uh, there will be a link down to uh, Jason's channel and he'll probably upload his episode way before I do mine so there should be a link to that as well uh, but yeah today was good uh, gutted about the the Nintendo stuff but I'm more than happy that I went to a collector and his face was just he was a big lad as well a uh, very very tall so uh, yeah no one was gonna mess with him because he didn't want to say anything so it, no it was really good I wish I got it on camera um, but yeah, 
for reasons we know about, uh, there was no footage. And to be fair, it's that bloody warm. I really don't want to be wearing a harness um, and I'm getting married in a, in a couple of weeks. So the added stress of not having to deal with recording um, is kind of nice at the moment. So give me a few weeks grace. And uh, I think once I am no longer single, as it were, um, we'll get right back into the recording stuff or we'll try to. But I'm going to enjoy the next this weekend and the weekend after um, and then we'll go in and, and see what happens but yeah that was it today I'm just chatting rubbish now so I'll go as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I will see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios